Hey guys, do you have yellow jackets and wasps swarming around your trees, particularly your poplar trees or your oak trees? We do, and we're going to tell you what's going on, if this is the case for you. I don't want to get stung, but let me... Oh, look at that. Let me see, see if I can zoom in and you can see the swarm. See the swarm? There's some landing there. There's some... It's dusk, so it's getting a little harder to see, and these guys are going to be going to bed soon. I'm going to try to find out where they live, these yellow jackets. But here's what's going on. Wasps and uh, yellow jackets belong in the wasp family. They love sugar. So at first glance, we thought maybe it's our hummingbird feeders, but they're not bothering the hummingbird feeders. They're all over the tree. So I did some research to find out what's going on, and here's what's going on. This tree is infested with aphids and an insect called a scale. Okay, most of you know what aphids are. Scales are actually very similar to aphids. They're a hard-shelled insect that are so small they're very hard to see. But what they do is they will burrow into your bark on your poplar trees and your oak trees and they will suck the sap out of them. Okay, and then their excrements come out as a sh in a sugary form. There's a big yellow jacket. There's a bunch of them. See them swarming around? So these yellow jackets and wasps, and we have some of those big Japanese wasps on here. Oh, there's a ton of them up here. I don't know if you can see them or not. But they're actually eating the excrement, the poop, the doo-doo, from, uh, from the aphids, but predominantly the scale. So, what do you do if you got this problem? Because guys, the scale and the aphids are slowly sucking the life out of your tree. Now last summer, this poplar tree turned yellow in the middle of summer. We thought it was because of droughtish conditions, but it was actually because the scale and the aphids were sucking the sap out of the tree and slowly killing it. Well, here's what you can do. You can take a plastic brush, like you might use to clean your car, or your bathroom, your bathtub, toilets or whatever, and you brush down the trunk of your tree like this. You don't do it hard enough to remove the bark, but this is actually removing the scale from the trunk of the tree, okay? Now, number two, and what we're gonna be doing here soon is you can mulch the trunk of your tree. The base, apply a layer of mulch because the scale and the aphids will burrow into the ground and reproduce and then come back up the trunk and attack the tree. So brush your tree down and place mulch. And then thirdly, in the fall of the year, when these leaves fall off after they've turned yellow, the tree sucked up all the chlorophyll and stored it for the winter, um, rake your leaves so that the leaves aren't laying around because the aphids and the scale will be able to hibernate underneath the leaves and they'll reproduce under there. So while um, the tree's dormant, you don't want any activity going on, on underneath its leaves. You want to get rid of those leaves. There are some treatments if your infestation is bad that you can apply to the tree while it's dormant in the winter to kill the aphids and the scale. We're gonna see if we can avoid going that route because we don't particularly like to spray anything on our properties. Or on our property, we only have one property. But, uh, so if you're out and about underneath your trees and you hear a buzz and you look up and you just see a swarm of wasps and yellow jackets like we have, you see them up there swarming around? That's what's going on. You've got an aphid and scale infestation of your tree. And if you want to keep your tree, you got to be proactive and take measures to get rid of them. How will you know when the... Where's that bee? There he is. You'll know you're successful when these guys leave. As far as the bees themselves go, if you want to get rid of them, you got to find out where they're staying. Remember, yellow jackets burrow underneath the ground. They post centuries that'll sting the crap out of you if they see you getting too close to the nest. So follow them to their nest, which is why I'm out here this evening. Watching these guys swarm around on the tree, I'm gonna to try to figure out where they live. And I'm gonna go burn them out at night while they're asleep and their sentries aren't guarding the hole. So if you learned something from this video and you enjoyed it, please subscribe to our channel, Homesteading Off The Grid, and we will see you next time.